A thrilling finish to the first ever overtime game in a tiebreaker at the Memorial Cup presented by Kia has the no-quit Peterborough Peets heading to Friday's semi-final. This is the Memorial Cup. After scoring first, the Peets allowed four straight goals, putting themselves in an all too familiar position. Uh, you know what, we just kept talking on the bench about staying with it. Just stay with it, stay with it. For some reason in this postseason, it just seems like when we're down, it's like um, we just find that extra gear to kind of push forward and get the win. Confidence is high for the maroon and white who continue to defy the odds. That's our game. The muddier the water, the better it is for us, and it works It works usually in our favor when those games are, are like that. Uh, it's just, just character. I think I think our, I've said it the whole playoffs. You know, we're we're a good team. We're brothers, and we stuck together the, the whole way, and that's why we won. It's uh, surreal, you know. Um, you know, I'm also a local kid, so it adds up to everything. It adds adds so much to me. I, that means so much to me. It's a heartbreaking end to a fantastic season by the Blazers. It just feels weird because you know, I've spent the last five years here in my hometown, and yeah, it's just. I don't think it's hit me yet, but yeah, this is probably my last game here. Facing their third straight win or go home game, the Peets have to get as much rest as they can before taking on Seattle. Yeah, just tone it down a bit and start fresh tomorrow and bring our A game again. I think if we can play the way we did against Quebec and even, even tonight with the adversity and you know, if we can get up on them, they're, they're a good team. They have a lot of winners on that team as well. And it's going to be another good game and it's going to be fun.